Hi class, today we are going to talk about the schema quality. First, second, and third normal forms. Um, there are a number of design activities. We just started with designing the database. Make sure you go over the list of activities, then we're going to work on a few before the semester ends. The steps that we are taking to convert a domain model class diagram to a database schema are here. Number six is the focus of our discussion today. Schema quality is about making your database easier to scale and making sure you decrease redundancy. These ideas only make sense when we go through examples. So let's start with a very fundamental concept here in databases and that we call functional dependency. If I have the value of attribute A, can I find the value of attribute B? If so, B depends on A. So this definition is true for when you have your primary key on the left hand side. That's the definition of the primary key. If you have the primary key, the value for it, you can find one and only one row in your database tables that means that if you have the value of the primary key you will find the value for other attributes so this is by definition true when you have primary keys on the left but this dependency could exist among other um, attributes so your university id number is your primary key if i have the value for it i will find the value for name for your major or your ULID is not a primary key that we use but it's still if I have your ULID I can get everything else about you so that also is an attribute that can help me find values of other attributes even though I haven't specified that as my primary key this is another example if I have product ID um, I can get the description and this is from the example that the book has. First normal form says you shouldn't have any single attribute that repeats itself, so you have a number of them, or a group of attributes that repeat themselves. This is for an employee. They have a name, a department, and salary, and then they have a number of dependents. And because you don't know how many dependents a given employee has, you would repeat that. How many times? You don't know. So you put 10, 11, 2, 3. That number is unknown. This is a bad design. This is a violation of first normal form. Instead, you would have your employee table another table for dependents and whatever information you want to keep about them and then connect the second table to the first table by adding the primary key of the first table to the second table so the idea is that if you have a column or an attribute that you think there could be multiple of them and you don't know how many times put them in a separate table make that separate table connected to the first table using foreign keys and primary keys keep in mind that if you um, do a good job in creating your domain model class diagram the schema that you get is probably a very high quality schema these violations happen if somebody didn't know domain modeling or they did domain modeling but they didn't do a good job they put things all over the place. They put attributes as classes, or they put different classes for the same concept. So it happens. You end up uh, seeing violations of um, normal forms if um, someone didn't spend the time they needed to do a good job on their domain modeling. Second and third normal form. Second normal form says. Uh, no partial dependency so if you have a composite primary key two or more attributes together are your primary key for that table 
all other non-key attributes should depend on the whole primary key, not only part of it. Third normal form says no non-key to non-key dependencies. Um, so if you have two non-key attributes, they depend on each other. That's violation of third normal form. Look at the example here for second normal form. And keep in mind these are in order and in hierarchy. If you want a second normal form, a schema you have to make sure it's in first normal and then look uh, for violations of second normal form. So here I have catalog ID and product ID together as a primary key. There is a price, there is a special price, and there is catalog issue date. So let me just give you a little background. A price is a for a product. Special price depends on um, where the product is promoted on which catalog. So it can change. If I have my product on a paper catalog or on an online catalog. Excuse me. The catalog issue date obviously is about the catalog. So if I have this, and this is my composite primary key, you see that the price depends only on product, catalog issue date depends only on catalog ID, and this is the sale price, and this is the only attribute that depends on the entire primary key. So the first step you do, you take out the catalog issue date and you put it in a separate table with the catalog ID, the part of the primary key that it is dependent upon. And then the second step that's not shown here, you take the price out and you put it in another table with product ID. So price depends on product ID, it goes to another table, issue, they depends on catalog ID, it goes to another table, and the only attribute that stays here is the special price. And that special price depends on the entire primary key, which is a combination of catalog ID and product ID. Non-key to non-key dependencies. Non-key to non-key dependency here that we see. State is a non-key attribute here. Zip code is a non-key attribute here. State depends on zip code. If you have the value of zip code, you can know the state. That's just the definition. If you know the zip code, you know which state you're talking about. So what you do here, you take these two out that depend on each other. You have the zip code. State depends on zip code. And you just keep the zip code in the original table state that depends on the zip code non-key to non-key dependency in this table is taken out so in third normal form non-key to non-key dependencies are taken out second normal form partial dependencies are taken out first normal form repetitions are taken out the idea is that you decompose now here look at this example if you have a 10,000 customers from the same zip code and you made a mistake, this zip code is not in New Mexico, it's in Minnesota. You have to go and change it 10,000 times in this original design. But if you had this design and there was a mistake, you just change it in one place and that is that one place. This is not in Minnesota, it's in New Mexico. So following normal forms, um, it helps you with your data integrity, scaling your database, and making sure the data is not repeated. Now, third normal form is something that many people do not follow these days because it adds a query, makes the process slower, because you have to work with two tables here to find which state this account number belongs to. So some people skip that these days because there is so much demand for fast response real-time applications now first and second normal form are very important we want to follow them still there are higher uh, normal forms that we don't talk about in this class if um, you know these ideas um, dependencies 
and partial dependencies, non-keto, non-keto dependencies, they are very helpful. Again, you end up with violations of first, second, and third on my phone if somebody didn't do their job to create a good logical domain model class diagram. So it usually you see these um, violations if you are given a database that someone else has created. There are some examples here I want you to go through and I want you to work on them and write to me. Give me the answers and I'll review for you. I have four examples and I think um, there are different levels to start with easy and they go to harder. Work on them and let me know if you have any questions.